In this video, we'll be talking about what happened to Gato's domain expansion. I mean, he had one, didn't he? Gato was a special great sorcerer after all. I mean, if Yuta had one and Gojo had one, he might as well have one too, right? Well, the thing is, we don't know for sure if he had his own domain expansion, but we do know one thing. Gator was a curse manipulator and he can control curses, the ones that he swallows. So if one of those cursed spirits have a domain expansion, he can use it. Similar to how Kanjago used the small deity curse domain expansion, the coffin box that Mei, Mei got trapped in. Gato, however, should have had his own domain expansion without relying on cursed spirits for Garbo ones. If special great cursed spirits like Mahito, Jogo, and Hanami can have a domain expansion, it makes you think that Gato definitely had a domain expansion as well, right? So what happened to Gato's domain expansion? The thing is, Gato was part of the series for a short amount of time. He was like in five episodes of the Hidden Inventory arc, and he was like in Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the movie. That's about it. The best time to see Gato's domain expansion was during his fight with Yuta. Yuta was inexperienced and Gato had the opportunity to finish him off with his domain expansion. So why didn't we see Gato's domain expansion that time? Simple answer is, Gege didn't think of domain expansion during Jujutsu Kaisen Zero and didn't incorporate it into the anime. Or, Gato did have a domain expansion but didn't want to use it because he didn't want to kill Yuta in the domain which would mean he wouldn't be able to use his curse manipulation to capture Rika. But my theory is that Gato couldn't do domain expansion similar to Nanami. Maybe he just didn't have what it takes. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Peace.